Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who is just, but a God who is also merciful. Praise God that we don't get what, exactly what we deserve. Our word of encouragement today comes from James chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. Speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom, because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. You know, we live in a world today where everybody wants to judge one another. If you look at the political chaos going on out there, everybody is basically judging each other uh, by their actions. Uh, sometimes, some days it seems at least that uh, our president or other people who have been elected to different positions can't do anything right, that some will always find fault with it. Maybe that's true in your life as well, that it just feels like there's always someone who's willing to find fault in your life. The fact is, is that we are not called to judge people. We are called, in a sense, to judge actions. We're, we're called to, to make a determination that certain things are, or certain actions are right or wrong, but that's not how we judge people. We don't approve of what they do, maybe, but we do love them because of God's mercy, because God gave his mercy to us first. You know, when it comes to other people, we don't know exactly what they've been through. We haven't actually walked in their shoes. We don't know what's going on inside them or the things that they're, they're dealing with. What we do know is that God loves them, that God created them, that God wants to be with them and wants to walk beside them and wants a relationship with them. And we can't be a part of that if all we do is judge them. I know, as I said in this world today, we're, we're basically taught or told to, to judge everybody. When we turn on the news, when we look on the internet, everywhere we turn, someone's being judged. And certainly people have done lots of bad things that are out there. But in our hearts, we should love people. In our hearts, we should want to pass out mercy. Why? Again, because God's been merciful to us. Our deeds are sinful. Our deeds deserve nothing short of death and destruction. Yet in God's mercy, in his love, he has made a way through his son, Jesus Christ, and the death on the cross, uh, that we might have eternal life, that we might be forgiven and restored to him. Our heart should be to restore people to ourselves. Now, that certainly doesn't mean we should put ourselves in harm's way. If someone has harmed us in the past, we want to forgive them, but let's not uh, put ourselves back in that position to be harmed again. At the same time, let's love on people wherever they're at as best we can. Let's open our arms and our eyes and, and our heads to, to saying, God loves this person. How can I love them today? So when you go out to the store today, when you go to work today, where, wherever you may go today, let's ask God to give us his eyes, to see people as he sees them, to help us not be judgmental about their uh, status in life or their position in life, but help us to be loving towards them. The truth is many of us today will deal with people who are homeless or who are struggling financially. How can we love them today? The truth is we may deal with people today who are struggling emotionally, um, or, or, or mentally, how can we help them today? Or maybe dealing with people who are struggling physically today, physically today, how do we help them today? And how do we help those who need spiritual help? We help them by being like Jesus, by loving them and by showing them mercy. We're not gonna win too many people over to the Lord by judging them and by looking down upon them and by all those things. What we're going to do is we're gonna win people by loving them and by showing them mercy. Praise God. We just thank you, O oh Lord, for all that you do for us. We thank you for your mercy and your love that, that, that triumphed over the judgment side that said we deserve death and destruction. Father, thank you for that love and mercy that walks beside us and carries us when we need it and watches over us and restores us to yourself. Father, help us to be like you. Help us to be like Jesus to provide mercy uh, to people who are in need. Help us, O oh Lord, to see people as you see them and to love them as you see the, as, you, as you love them and to respond to them as you would respond to them. Father, we're grateful for the examples we have of the disciples, of, certainly of Jesus and, and of, of all, of how they treated people. Lord, help us to treat people just like that. Even those who would choose to harm us or hurt us, help us, oh God, to show their mercy and love because of your mercy for us. Father, today be with those who are hurting, who need your physical touch or your mental touch or emotional touch. Be with those who need a financial a pickup or, or need your provision. Be with those, Lord, who don't yet know you. May you use our lives to be a light to them. May they see what you've done for us and, and may they rejoice and choose Jesus as their Savior.
Father God, we do thank you for all that's going on in our world today, uh, for the pandemic, uh, for the racism, protest, and, and, and for the political chaos. Father, we didn't necessarily ask for it, but Lord, it's you brought it before us, and, and we want you to use it for your glory. So Lord, would you bring the outcome from it to be a mighty revival? May this be the, the year, may even this be the day where we can mark it at a point where people come back to you in droves. Father, we want to be a part of that. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives today. May we just sense your presence as you walk beside us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. And mercy triumphs over judgment. Let's be merciful to people today. Let's love on people today. Let's share Jesus with people today. Have a great day. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.